In this video, we're going to take a look at increasing and decreasing functions. Now, what we want to look at here is how the behavior of the first derivative changes whether the function is increasing or decreasing. So what we mean by that is if we have something, say, like this here, so y is equal to an expression, like we can see on the screen here. In this case, it's just a simple quadratic. Then when dy by dx, let's just note this down here. So when dy by dx is greater than zero, then we say the the expression, if we call it a function here, is increasing. Okay, so this is for increasing. That's for increasing. And then you might have guessed it when dy by dx is less than zero. And dy by dx is less than zero. And this is our function decreasing. Okay. And that's what we really need to understand for increasing and decreasing functions. Now we can apply that to a couple of different types of questions. So what I've got here are two questions. The first one is looking for the values of x for which y is increasing. And the next one is looking for the values of x for which y is decreasing. Okay, so let's take a look now when the values or what the values of x are for which y is increasing. So if our function here is increasing, what we're looking for then is when the first derivative is greater than zero. So let's differentiate here, find the first derivative. So dy by dx, in this case, will be equal. So that's going to be 6x, so 3x squared. Bring the, three, uh, the 2 down in front of the 3 and times them together. So I get 6x. Then we reduce the power by 1. So that's 2 minus 1, giving me 1. We've got 9x here, so that's just going to be plus 9. And what we're saying then is, if this is increasing, y is increasing, then this here, this first derivative, must be greater than 0. So 6x plus 9 is greater than 0. What I'm going to do then is subtract 9 off both sides. So we get 6x is greater than minus 9. And now we divide by the coefficient here of x, which is 6. So therefore, x must be greater than minus 9 over 6, which is the same as x being greater than minus 3 over 2. OK. And now it's, that's the values of x for which y is increasing. And that gives us the solution. To the first question. Let's take a look at one more note where we're taking a look now for when y is decreasing. So remember when y is decreasing that would tell us that dy by dx is less than zero. Okay this is for decreasing. So what I need to do here is differentiate y with respect to x. So 3x here once I differentiate that with respect to x would give me 3. So this is for dy by dx. That's equal to 3. I've got minus x squared here, so once I differentiate that with respect to x, I'm going to get minus 2x. Okay. Well, we're looking for when this is now less than 0 because we're looking for when y is decreasing. So 3 minus 2x is less than 0. Therefore, 3 must be less than 2x. Or in other words, what we'd say here is 2x must be greater than 3. That might look a little bit more natural to us. And then I'm going to divide by the coefficient of x here. So therefore, the range of values of x for which y is decreasing will be x being greater than 3 over 2. Okay, and did we get the same for the last one? Or well, minus 3 over 2, so pretty close. Um, but there we go. So that's the values of x for which y is decreasing. Okay, and that gives us the solution to that question. So that brings us to the end of this video on increasing and decreasing functions. In the next video, we're going to take a look at stationary points and the second derivative.